Hi, I'm Marcia Victor Stover from Holland, and I'm the owner of the YouTube channels Beauty Gloss and Vlog Gloss, and I'm here in the Dukas Copy Studio. <laughs> You know what, I always get these ideas like all of a sudden and then like, yeah, I'm going to film it, I'm going to do it. And then I just film it and then it's like my new weird video. <laughs> Hoi, ik ben Marcia Fake de Stofa en welkom op mijn YouTube channel Beauty Gloss. Yeah, the number one question people ask, how do you get inspiration? You know, I just, I look around, I look at people, I love meeting new people and just getting inspired by, by the things they do or what they tell me or what I see on TV or at shows or... Um, yeah, and it's usually it's little things. It's even like if I look backstage somewhere and I see someone doing some cool trick to a model, I'm like, oh, that is so cool, I'm gonna try that. And then, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make a video about it. And yeah, it's just little things like that that inspire me. Hoi, ik ga jullie vandaag laten zien hoe je kan contouren zoals Kim Kardashian dat doet. Van de blush. Vandaag heb ik voor jullie weer een favoriete en opgemaakt video. Mijn favoriete parfum van het afgelopen jaar is deze geweest van Hugo Boss. Well, I was looking for beauty videos. I was interested in how others did their makeup and hair. And there was actually no content by any Dutch people being made on the internet. And I was like... If I'm looking for it, I'm pretty sure others are looking for it too. So I decided to make a video with my webcam and that's how it all started. I was actually not speaking. I just turned on the webcam and I started straightening my hair. And I was like, you know, maybe there's other people who straighten their hair and maybe I can give them some tips or they can give me some tips. And then, I don't know, looking back, I'm like super embarrassed about the video. It's really bad, but I mean, it was a start. I think it took um, a couple of weeks. It was pretty fast because at the time there there was nothing like this. So I noticed a lot of people came through Google. They were Googling like how to do my hair, how to do my makeup. And I think, I guess my videos were the top recommended because yeah, that's the only thing that was out there. So I got pretty lucky with timing, yeah. Well, I have two channels. I have my beauty channel and it's a bit beauty, lifestyle, like, I mean, anything, woman like I, I guess and then I have my other channel that's daily vlogging so that's more of like everyday life so everything basically <laughs> I have a couple of favorite videos I think I did a Kim Kardashian look a couple of years ago and it's still one of my favorites and yeah I don't know I don't know every time I, I do something I, I discover something like oh this is such a cool tip I think it's my favorite one and then I have something new so I don't know Doeg. or so Kim Kardashian dude my content changed throughout the years because um, technology has gotten a lot better. Uh, I think it's very normal to have a very high quality camera these days. We all started with a webcam, but now it's super high quality and with the lights and with the microphone and everything. And I think uh, I've gotten a lot more creative. So I started with just little things like how to apply eyeshadow, but now I do tutorials with multiple things in it and just yeah I, I, I think I realize it's also a, a, like an entertainment thing so you need to entertain your viewer and yeah that's that's how it's changed throughout the years yeah well I, I love meeting my viewers they're super nice always and they're like from all ages so young girls and older women they're all so nice and um, yeah I just try to reply to everyone and I think when they meet me on the street I'm the same as in the video so I think that's that makes you relatable. It's like I'm just being me on video and yeah, he did my makeup and he was really good at it. I think he had a problem with the eyeliner, but I mean, I think I taught him well. <laughs> yeah, fun videos are definitely the ones that are being viewed that have like high views, but also they're just fun to record and like it's not all that serious, you know, it's not all very informative. It can also be entertainment fun. Well, you know what, There's, it's so crazy because the, it's always the videos that you expect will, you know, they'll, they'll do average or you think, I'm not sure if people like it, that go skyrocket. And then there's videos that take you days to film and you have like, yes, and then they have like the lowest views. So it's, you don't know what's gonna happen with what video. It's always a surprise. Hey. How do you get your wang off? Wacht, ik ga het eerst proberen weg te halen, zo. Het ziet er, kijk, 
Yeah, so I have two books and uh, it was definitely uh, something really fun to do and uh, it's different, it's not about beauty, it's, it's more about my life, so. No, writing a book was harder than I thought. Yeah, people were already warning me, like, be careful, writing a book is something different than just writing a blog post, for instance. And it's true, yeah, it took me like, I think six months to write a book and then just keeping going back and just rewriting and oh no, that's not good. And you need to keep in mind, people are gonna read this who don't know who you are, you know, like it's not only your, your viewers who are reading it, but maybe their relatives too, or their friends. And yeah, but it turned out good. Als je mijn vlogs een beetje gevolgd hebt, dan weet je dat ik een tijd bezig ben geweest met het schrijven van een boek. En het boek heet dus Happy Life.